Hi everyone, welcome to episode 4 of our Pino Iona Portugal and Spain cruise series. Guess what? We are awake and today we are in Lisbon. I've literally just jumped out of bed just to film that when we sailed underneath the bridge. But it was really good. <laughs> it was the bees the bees that woke me up because it sounds like bees when you go under it, doesn't it? And that's why I woke up. But yeah. Well everybody, we're all showered and changed and all freshened up and we are in lovely sunny Lisbon today. It is absolutely it's a scorcher. scorcher. I can't believe how sunny it is. You should see it outside. Look at this. You'll see. Look at it. It's like pure bliss, isn't it? It's like nothing like being back home. It's really warm. Like we've even had to put sun cream on, haven't we? Yeah. So yeah. So today we're going off to Lisbon. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to do, do we? We don't know. What what we're gonna yeah we have no idea because we weren't really meant to be here it's been sort of thrown on us but um, we're just taking we'll it all, we're taking it all in our stride mm. but for now most important thing is breakfast so we're gonna go down to the Keys and you're hoping yes, to get like right. something from the American place yeah. um, and then we're gonna go off and explore we've got until what happens three uh, or four 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 thirty I think normally that's when we leave. You know, this is cooler. They don't normally do this, and so you've got these screens everywhere, and they're even showing you like where the gangways are, look, to know where to get off, and there's your all aboard time as well. It's good, isn't it? Mm. Handy. Here's the keys. Is it even open? Oh, it might not be open, Gavin. No, it's closed. Damn you. They've made us go all the way down here. Oh, no, maybe on the end one. Yeah, there's people over here. Yeah, there could be a shimmer of hope here. Yeah. No, it's closed. Well, that plan failed. <laughs> there was Gavin going, I'm going to have some American waffles and whatever. Now we came all the way down and there's no food. So we're going to go to the buffet now. Yeah, a bit of exercise. The Keys is open for breakfast from 7.30am until 10am. As we'd missed it, we had to go up to the Horizon Buffet, found up on deck 16, which luckily serves breakfast until 11am. Food, and we have our own little section today. It's like luxury, isn't it? It's like we've got our own ship. It's like, yeah, super posh. Yeah, this is a quiet long year, isn't it? Yeah, it's been good. It's a nice year. I mean, everyone is sure today to be yeah. fair. So it's mm -hmm. lovely outside. I can't believe the weather. It's like amazing. But anyway, we've got our food. Yeah, I just went for like bread and bacon and egg, and then the sausage is just a snack. And I'm gonna make a sandwich out of that. And that's nice. And there's yours. And you, oh, you've got a little things as well, what do you call them? What are they Brands. called? Hash browns, I couldn't think of the weird then. Bon appetit! Really? Cool. So we just had our breakfast, haven't we? It was really good. nice. And now we're going to go out the back, aren't we, outside, get a bit of fresh air, have a look around because like, it's so pretty, and then yeah, we'll go off then, won't yeah. we? Fun. The weather was absolutely fantastic here at Lisbon today, not just sunny, but hot too. Given that it was mid-February, this was a real treat and certainly much warmer than being back home. We last visited Lisbon back in 2019 and really enjoyed our time here. As soon as we'd taken in some of the scenery from up on deck and got our bearings, we decided to make our way down to the gangway and venture off for shore. Hopefully, go and take a picture of the ship if we can. 
It looks pretty immense from here, doesn't it? Look at that. What we're going to do today, do we? We have absolutely no idea. So yeah, we're just going to go for our little stroll now and just see what we can find, don't we? Yep. Just taking it all in our stride, basically. We made zero plans for this today. We're just heading into the square now and we've just got to walk down this bit then probably around the corner and we'll be in the main square which you always see and that's a tuck tuck love a tuck tuck we should have gone on one but there's loads there as we'd mentioned earlier we had been to Lisbon in the past so we had a pretty good idea where we were heading one of Lisbon's signature landmarks is the Praço de Comercio this large square is where you'll find the impressive statue of King Joseph I on horseback, as well as the Rua Augusta Arch, which leads into central Lisbon. Quite interesting, isn't it? Just walking down the road and then you find that. It's made by the same guy who built the actual tower, wasn't it? Or something to do with it, yeah. Last time we came to Lisbon and we completely missed the Santa just to lift. How? We don't know. Anyway, this time we made a point of finding it. So we're just mulling around, aren't we? And now we found this. Which is something like a landmark. <laughs> Something to do with the Eiffel Tower and it? it's like a lift and it goes up to the top and there's like a thing up, yeah. I've seen videos on YouTube. It's quite a big queue. Um, but yeah, we've just been like loitering around and like taking it all in, haven't we? Okay, so Gavin wants to go that way, so we're going to go that way now. Let's go. And now we found this fountain. <laughs> so we found the, the lift. lift. We found the fountain. We walked through the arch when we came in, and we? We've seen found that. Drugs. Yeah, we found, <laughs> found plenty of dealers. But yeah. I don't think there's another like monument or... Yeah. We're literally just like wandering around and just enjoying it, aren't we? Found just minutes away from the Santa Justa lift, we came across the King Pedro IV Square and its beautiful fountains and monument. Whilst wandering the streets of Lisbon, we stumbled upon a cafe with a beautiful window display of sweet treats and Portuguese custard tarts. Having really enjoyed these last time we came, we just couldn't resist popping in. So just coming to like a cafe now, we're going to have some pasta de nasta, the pasta tarts and a coffee, aren't we? Coffee. Oh, there we go, we already did. Right, like go on and go, I'll give it a go. It's been how long? Three years? It looks nice. And? Is it good? Yeah. Better than Tesco's. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? So we just had our nice little custard tarts, didn't we? Yeah, they were really, lovely. really nice. Um, and now, after exploring, we're going to go head back to the ship, aren't we? Maybe get in the pool? Yeah, I think so. Pool time is definitely on the card. just had a really nice day in Lisbon. We've been like bumbling around, just taking it all in. We've seen some sights and we like the, um, the that lift thing. We don't really to do the Eiffel Tower. We've, we've just seen some nice yeah, we've seen And that. behind us is the Lisbon Bridge, which we can't wait to sail under later on. That's gonna be really, really cool. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. But it's been fun, isn't it? Once back on board, we made our way up to our cabin to freshen up and to grab a few bits and bobs before heading up on deck. Just got back on board 
the ship. Now change into our swimming shorts. And we're going to go up on deck. It looks surprisingly quiet out. From what we've seen, from our balcony, we just had a look, and it's loads of yeah. benches down there. And we've got the sun on our side. It's lovely. We think there'd we be, loads, there'd be well. loads of people there, so but it's quiet. So what we're going to do, go to the top and find one of the pools and just chill out now. Lie down, relax. Pina colada, maybe. Yeah, and then prepare. We've brought Banana Fingers Hand in the bag, because later we've got the bridge. We're hoping to sail, and that's going to be fun. It's going to be fun times. Let's go. Let's go. We have drinks. Thank you. That's great. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Enjoy, Luki. It's my first one of the day, that is. It's been really good today. It's too hot. How's that going down, by the way? You enjoying it? It's very hot here. Like, it is absolutely scorching. We've got like a sun trap here. It's scorching. Shame we can't really use the infinity pool though, because there's like loads of kids in it, isn't it? Not that you swim, but it's only 1.4 meters deep, so you'd probably be able to go in there. It's really quiet up there though. I suppose I am here like balls and all banging around and stuff. <laughs> Being the sports court, like it's right above the bar. Clever, clarify that. I had to clarify that, yeah. Balls banging around up there. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. Thank you. What drinks that then? Same. I think it's number three today. So I got 12 left. They won't all be large, so it's going to get, I think, red wine next. What about you? What yeah, you probably. two Coronas? No, I've had, I've had about four Coronas. Have you? Yeah, and that's my fifth one now. This is only my fifth pack. So everyone says I have the worst one, I'm always a drinker. Yes, but Coronas only half the size of a pint. <laughs> <laughs> So now I am on the Maribel Gin with some slimline tonic. Gotta to watch my figure, am I? Gotta fit in those taxes. And you're on the same, but you've same got ice. Thing. You had ice in yours. Yeah, I've got a bit too large, you know. Yeah, we've we've come off like we've I've had three. You've had a couple. You had a couple of Corona balls, didn't you? I'd literally be huddled over a Yankee candle right now trying to get a bit of warmth out of it. After spending a wonderful afternoon basking in the sun and enjoying drinks at the Panorama Bar, the time had finally come for us to leave Lisbon. I only departed Lisbon around 5pm. After slipping in moorings and turning around, she made her way down the River Targus towards the impressive 25th of April bridge and out to sea. Sailing beneath the bridge is an exhilarating experience. Even though this was our second time, it was still absolutely amazing. We've just come back to our lovely, luxurious room and we sailed underneath the bridge, which was amazing. I'm just going to open the door now because we have a balcony and this is immense because obviously we were meant to be going to Hamburg and all that lot and Rotterdam and whatever, and that didn't happen. <laughs> Not that I'm sad because now we're here and this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look, and you can see us sailing out of Lisbon. We sailed underneath the bridge. You can still see the bridge over there, look in the distance. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, I'm just on our balcony now. I have a towel on me because I'm pretty damn cold because I went in the pool with the banana fingers hands and I waved to the people as the bridge came over, didn't I? New video, me and Gavin's in there, he's eating chocolate. He's, what are you eating, strawberry balls? Is that COVID? What the hell is that? Is that COVID, isn't it? Big sneeze in a coffee. That's definitely COVID. Someone phoned the people in the white suits and they need to take that one off. That's red wine. Oh yeah, uh, not red wine. Can I have a gin and tonic, please? No, I've been drinking white wine. Red wine, aren't I? 
Well, yeah, my because I have my cow. I need another cow. I'm saving the cows for my herd at home. I've got a whole herd in my window in my kitchen. So I save all the cows from Tesco's. Basically, if you buy this wine, which I'll take a picture of it now, I'll show you. If you if you have this wine from Tesco's, they give you a little cow on the side, and I cut the little top of a craft knife, and I have a whole herd in my kitchen window. It's fun. So I'm saving all the shapes. They do loads of shapes. They're like ones on his face, ones on sitting down, ones like like they do loads of things. And I don't what's this cow doing. Let me. I'll, I'll spin around now. So if you're a fan of our channel, you're probably like this maybe. It's from Tesco's, it's not even that expensive. And if you've got the club card thing, you get it cheaper, but they give you a little cowlet. So this one's like charging. So, what I just realized was I was eating my chocolate ball, and you can see all the people there, and they're probably looking at Iona and going, wow, look, there's a cruise ship going past us. That's strange. Well, maybe not, because it's Lisbon, but I have banana fingers hands, so I'm gonna wave to the people. Look, just in case someone's taking a picture, in it. Somebody might be like, look good. Somebody on that picture, they could be waving or smiling, just because I'm waving the fingers hands. Hello. It's me. I'm dressed and I am ready for my luxurious tea or dinner. And now I am ready to go out. We're so, going to tonight is Sindu. We love Sindu. we love Sindu, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we've we've nice come back to our cabin. We've yeah got ready for tonight. I've had a bit of a nap actually, about half an hour of sleep. He had a nap. I had a luxurious shower. I came out. I drank half a bottle of wine. I did my hair and I got all ready and I got all dressed. And I'm off to Sindu. Going for tropical vibes. Like this is my tropical vibes. Very tropical. So tonight we're going to try and do. Well, we've got Sindu. We've got Sindu. We're going to we're going to try and, and we do. Also <laughs> <laughs> Done it again, didn't it? So we're gonna go now. Fun times down. ahead. Woo! So now we're gonna go down to where we're we gonna go to now. Glass house. Glass house. We love the glass house. We're probably gonna have like luxurious red wine in there and watch people watching the atrium, won't we? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to Sindhu half eight for our dinner. So let's go. So elegant, isn't it? Look at the stage. So sweet across. So basically, this level here is Keelan Cow. That level is the glass house. The bottom one's the Emerald Bar. That's where you get the flamingo drink, by the way, because everyone wants a flamingo drink, don't they? <laughs> so the flamingo drinks are down there. The bottom and the floor. So we're going to sweep down these sweeping stairs into the glass house now, aren't we? Yes. Wow. Thank you. That's great, thank you. So as I was saying, we're going to have Boom Boom Shiraz uh, and then we're going to go to Sindhu for a half eight. Yeah. And then after Sindhu we're going to come back here because the magic man the moment we met Illusionist, right. he's doing a straight jacket thing. I think it's half nine and half ten. So I don't think we'll make half nine, but we should make half ten. We're, we're going to make a point to try and see him because yeah. he was really funny. He was amazing. He was and then so we've got good. Rise at Skydome at yeah, 11. Yeah, that was cancelled last night, which we were going to see, but now we're going to do it tonight, are we? So we've, so we've basically got to get from here straight to Rise. So we've got to do, we've got, got, so we've, if I've got to get out of a straight jacket and then go up to the pigeon party, I don't know what's going to happen here. But we'll try, we'll try our best. Busy night. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Got to love a Charles Smith, haven't you? Ooh. Sindhu is one of Pinot Cruz's specialty dining experiences and a firm favourite of ours. Here you can enjoy authentic Indian cuisine with a British twist in beautiful surroundings. Having dined at Sindhu on various p and ships over the years, it was nice to see that on Iona the menu has been changed from a set menu to a la carte. If you'd like to study this menu in more detail, just pause the video. So what are you going to go for Mr Phillips? What have you decided yeah, on? Going to go for that. What's that? The what? Perfect. <laughs> Flatbread bites. Okay. Yeah. For your starter. It's my starter. What are you going for, main? Lambuna. That does sound nice though as well. I just, oh. And to be fair, it's the only dish which has got a medium heat. Do you know what I might do? I might have two courses because I don't know because I really want the lamb cutlets. I do want the duck, but the buna. Sounds like, it does sound incredible. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, the yeah. Or oh, the slow roasted breast of lamb. Oh. Maybe we might have two. Oh, yeah. 
But that's we, can, a good we, thing. we can back in a minute. Yeah, but that's a good thing though, isn't it? Because with Sindhu now, you can pick as many courses as you want, you just pay by course. So if you don't like pudding, you don't fancy it, have two mains. Okay, so what I'm going to go for is the Sandorian lamb cutlets, and then I'm going for the duck tikka that that's what I'm going to go for. So here's where it starts. We have our poppadoms and our chutney, and now we're going to have an enjoyable time talking because we are starving on me. Basically, I ate the skin off this one, and you gave me your what you give me like poppadom things. And now I'm going to try the lamb. So. God, it looks good. A bit of sauce. Oh my god. That's nice. Mm. That's so good. So good. I bet you're jealous. It's better than what you had, what you gave me. Yeah, but you, you, you give me a little bit now anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Wow, what have you gone for? The lamb. You have the lamb. Oh, I see you're for a treat now. Lamb yes. Lamb Wow. Oh, that's oh see. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, that was a tease, oh, wasn't it? That, that was a tease. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of curry sauce, bit of this. Never tried them before. Oh my god! It's amazing. It's amazing. To be fair, I had a bit of yours, and it was absolutely immense. Yeah, we've done something quite a bit and it's probably one of the nicest ones. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually tried something new, haven't we, really? Mm -hmm. We haven't gone for the set menu. We always go for the atolls or Cindy's six yeah. plate. This time we're just going for what we fancy. That, that what you had was amazing and what I've got is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, so one. nice. Yeah, oh. It's so good, isn't it? It's amazing. So um, Luke said, let's get two mains. I did, but I regret saying that. We're not doing it, we're not doing it. We didn't do it, <laughs> thankfully. Right. Oh, stuff. We're struggling with just one. I'm so far, I'm stuffed, but it's been amazing. The food has been absolutely immense. It's so good, but I can't eat anymore. I'm done. I'm literally struggling just to eat that little bit in the middle, but I'm going to do it just because I've ordered it. Mm. So we had to take a brief break, didn't we? We skipped pudding. No. We skipped pudding. We're going to go for like just espresso because uh, yeah, we're feeling a little bit. Can we? Can you pick me up? Uh, I've, I've drunk all my water because I'm being good. I'm being healthy. I've got that which wine left. Yeah, yeah a brief pause. It's probably going to be a late night, isn't it? We've we'll probably got to be quite late. We've come back to the room. Yeah, Sindhu was amazing. Wasn't Sindhu it? was amazing. It was awesome. And we even told the staff because it was so good. To be fair, they deserve a lot of praise. And it's yep. good. So they're not, they're not doing Nashtra at the moment, which is like the daytime Sindhu, which is really nice. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. I'm here. I'm still here. I'm just laying on a luxurious couch, which is like Huge. made of rock. <laughs> <laughs> and but now, now we're going to go to the atrium. Atrium, because we're going to see the illusionist in the straight jacket. I could do with putting a straight jacket. If it's him, I'm putting that. I'm going in a straight jacket. Will we? Don't touch the ground. It feels like it feels like I'm an alcoholic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> It feels like, it feels like I have issues. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed by club guard. Club cars are just a scam, they really are a scam. You go into Tesco just to buy a can of spam. You think it's only going to cost you £1.50 and... You come out of here with a bill, it's probably about a grand. <laughs> 
You feel like you feel like you've been wronged by Tesco's. Every little helps, I bet. Every little helps, because you don't help me much, do you? When I go to, I left your club card, didn't I, on the side? I went to Tesco's the other day, Magno, I was ripped right the hell off. Three you, quid I paid for a bloody box of four Magnums, and if I had a club card, it would have been about one by fifty. <laughs> I've given myself a time limit of two minutes. If I'm not free in that time, feel free to walk away. If I'm still here in an hour, okay. someone please come back and let me out. After watching Calvin, The Illusionist, we went up to the Sky Dome to watch Rise. Unfortunately, this was cancelled due to rough seas. Instead, we were treated to an impressive light show. So, we've just watched the show at the Sky Dome. Ta -da! And now we are going to the clubhouse, aren't we, Gav? Tonight at the clubhouse it was 70s night, however as we'd arrived quite late the 70s theme was short lived and the music was by request. Having enjoyed lots of drinks throughout the day, Luke was overcome by the urge to boogie and spent the next few hours dancing away. This could be the episode, I don't know what episode it would be. It's like the next day, isn't it? We just left the clubhouse. We've been disco dancing, haven't we? You can see oh, the time. That's right? the time, people. So you know I'm not lying. <laughs> Proof, because I can't interfere with that tonight. So yeah, I'm just going to bed now. We're going back to our like luxurious room, won't we? Hi everyone, we are back in our room. We've had an amazing Another night. late night, early morning. And we've just come back from, we've been chatting and talking for like hours. Lovely evening. We've been disco. Sindhu was amazing. Disco dancing in club, club house. And we, yeah, we went to Sindhu, we had an amazing meal here. We the illusionist were, doing his Hadouni. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't see much of him now. And we went to this, we went to go and see the crows and the flying around and the Yeah, the rise, but, that's but that was broke. Or, but, yeah. No, it wasn't broke. The people can do it because of the weather. But you know, it's, it's been good. It's, it's been a really, really good night. It's been fun. We've had loads of fun tonight. So now, I think mean, sleep is well overdue. Yep. And then we will see you in about probably about two or three hours when we wake up and we've got. Bigger. Yeah, because this morning you jumped out of bed to film the bridge and I was like dead. I so yeah, the, tomorrow morning might be the same. I don't know. You might jump out of bed. I'm gonna get about five hours sleep. Yeah. So yeah, we have to go to sleep now. So we hope you enjoyed. Yeah. We have to sleep before we die. Give us a like. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, please subscribe, it would be amazing and we appreciate your support. And we love the fact that most of you or some of you have come up to us on our cruise and took time out of your own day to talk to us. We yep. really appreciate it. So nice. It was really cool. So thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.